According to the last video, how to open core your Mac. Here is how to bootcamp your Mac without using bootcamp. In this video, until the disk swapping part, I recommend you to do the steps in a virtual machine. I'm using VirtualBox, but feel free to use any virtualizer of your choice. If you're interested in this video, leave a comment below. I'm using a 2.5 external hard drive for this. The links to download the four tools can be found in the description below. Open your Windows in the virtual machine and get the Microsoft Windows Media Creation Tool and Rufus. Open the media creation tool and download the latest Windows ISO file. Open Rufus and follow the setup. Be sure to set the checkboxes as I do. If you like, Change the drive label. Click start and let Rufus do his job. Shut the virtual machine down. Select the Windows partition. Once Windows have done everything and reboots, Complete your setup. You reach the desktop and the driver should be installed already. Accept the Bluetooth controller. Windows can't find a proper driver. The correct driver are inside the bootcamp package from Apple. Get those by downloading 7-Zip and Brigadier.
drag and drop Brigadier from your download folder to the desktop. Install 7-Zip. Open the command tool by pressing Alt plus R buttons and type C M D followed by pressing Enter. Type C D space desktop, hit Enter. Type Brigadier and hit Enter. Brigadier is downloading and unpacking the correct driver package according to your Mac. The new folder on your desktop contains the bootcamp driver. But the installer is made for Windows 7, so you can't open it. Right-click on the installer and select Properties. Change the compatibility mode to Windows 7 by checking it and start the installer again. The drivers will not be installed. The Bluetooth module is now fully functional and the setup is finished.